Well, Tanisha Anderson's death is one of three big cases shining a harsh spotlight on Cleveland police's use of deadly force. An officer will be tried in the barrage of gunfire deaths of Timothy Russell and Melissa Williams. A grand jury will decide if an officer will face charges for shooting 12-year-old Tamir Rice and Tanisha Anderson's family demanding justice for her. There have been protests for Tanisha Anderson. She had mental problems. Her mom called police for help. She kicked and struggled. An officer used a takedown and restrained her. She lost consciousness and died. I'm angry now Amen. when I think about how my daughter was treated. When I lay down at night, that's all I see. That's all I hear. It took 50 days. Now the medical examiners ruled her death homicide by legal intervention, but also says heart disease and her bipolar condition figured in. Now the ruling of homicide does not mean that police did anything wrong or committed a crime, just that their actions contributed to Anderson's death. The family statement demands justice for Tanisha, a thorough criminal investigation, and an independent prosecutor that results in accountability by police. Lawyer Michael Nelson's tracked the case. The person was killed by the officer. The, 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 the person's head was slammed into the ground. They were choked to death when we believe that an indictment should result. Police Union President Steve Loomis said our heart reaches out to the family. The officers handled it exactly the way they were trained. We're not surprised she had previous health issues. The use of deadly force units investigating. Facts will go to a grand jury. Joining the killings of Timothy Russell and Melissa Williams and Tamir Rice in debate about police reform. Now, the Department of Justice found that police often use too much force dealing with mental patients, escalating instead of de-escalating incidents. Anderson's family hopes to upgrade training for officers. We are told that her family will have more to say next week.